What's good, YouTube? It's Anthony back here with another video, and in today's video, we are going to be reviewing this pair right here, and this is the Woman's Nike Dunk Low Purple Pulse, one of two colorways that release in the beginning. Fast forward to now, which is present about two or three months after the release. I had picked this pair up last week for retail on Nike sneakers. They also did like a shock drop of a bunch of other pairs of dunks, and this one and the Nike Dunk High Black and White classic pair right there pick that one up and this one right here both for retail pretty happy about that prices on the second market like socket and goat did drop a little bit but that's just because of additional pairs in the market kind of spikes the prices and goes down or up really all depends on that but eventually they will go up and this is the second episode and review of a nike dunk in the car that's what i'm going to be doing now guys a little behind backstory of why I'm doing in the car is basically because I've been getting so many more pairs in recently and I've either had to be doing like local sales and then like online shipping through Goat and StockX and it's just easier on my part just to do in the car and then go do the meetup myself. So before we hop on the video make sure you like, comment, subscribe because this pair right here as you can see with the sunlight is a very beautiful pair and the quality and the leather on it and the colors really just pull it in together. So let's hop right into the box and the shoe. Start off with the box, guys. You got your classic red and white Nike box. The rest right here is a size eight women's, which is a six and a half grade school, retailing at 110. I paid 116.60 after my 6% tax. Nothing really too crazy with your GR Nike Dunk recent releases, but you know, they've been mass producing Nike Dunk, so it's cheaper on their end with the red and white box. Into the shoe right here, guys. What is your first impression? I really do think this shoe is a 10 out of 10. The colors and just like the overall dunk is really just really put together well. And like the around the toe box, we kind of see like some white and some purple. Also known as that purple pulse colorway. Kind of looks like the hyper, like the hyper royal Jordan 1 retro high with that kind of like split pattern of the two colors. A little bit faded with the purple. Kind of like a low key kind of, you know, mix of two colors. Onto the toe box right there, as you can see with the holes and everything. Nice tumbled leather on the toe box. Not your classic leather seen throughout other pairs of dunks. Has that kind of like ripples and stuff. Nice little like curves and stuff on the toe box. And the inside panel is around that nice purple Paul swoosh and that nice suede. The suede on this purple is really nice suede, you know. Nothing too crazy, but it's pretty dang clean. That's what you see when you're looking at the shoe from far away is that nice purple pulse swoosh in the center of the shoe. Wrapping onto the top of the laces. The laces is what is really cool about this pair right here. As you can see, I'm in a car right now. I could go outside and everything and show you guys. But basically, the laces are like UV, like repellent basically. And they do switch colors. That's pretty cool, you know. And really, there's really no additional laces that comes with this pair right here. Just your laces that come on top. And you're when you're looking at it without like the sunlight and everything, it's kind of like a white and gray pattern. Kind of cool. Nothing like too crazy. But once you hit the sunlight with that pair, it does nice colors and just like switches up, you know, when you're walking through. Nice mesh tongue right here with the inside being that purple and the outside being the white. The tongue with the Nike. Really nice pattern right there, guys. Inside is the insole with the nice purple pulse with the Nike. And your size tag, your inner size tag is on the inner panel for the right pair right here. Remember, everything on this channel is 100% real. Never have to worry about getting false information. That's it for like that. And the back of the heel, Nike and that braided stitch in right there. Really nice. Again, guys, that mix of like the purple and the white throughout the most of the shoe really is just beautiful in my eyes. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, we got nice padding and cushion. And nice soft spots around the ankle for that nice cushion onto the midsole nice white midsole with some white stitching and then the outer sole in that nice low-key purple pulse colorway with the nike low-key stars on the toe box and that's it right there guys for sizing this is a woman's shoe i believe the biggest size is a 12 woman's and that is a 10 and a half men so a lot of bigger feet men may not be able to rock this pair but you know the females out there a lot of you guys I see wearing this pair right here and just pretty much like grade school sizing there is heavy stock in the lower sizes versus your bigger sizes that's pretty much it for a lot of other sizes and everything your smaller sizes usually have more stock depending on if it's like 
Yeezys or anything. Maybe they're not, but tendency for Nike is smaller sizes. Usually have more stock, at least in the women's pairs as right here. I feel like a lot of the newer women's dunks are really nice, really nice put together versus like your black and white Nike Dunk Low and the men's. The quality of the leather is just really poor, mass produced. And, you know, I feel like this shoe is definitely built up more and definitely a lot more wearable. So if you like this video, guys, please like, comment, subscribe. Got lots of more heat coming in the car. Again, guys, the car is a lot more convenient on my end. So I'll be doing a lot more videos in the car. Plus that sunlight with this pair right here looks pretty cool. And the overall lighting is just a lot better and stuff versus setting up a camera and doing all those stupid edits, you know. I can do that as well. It's just more time consuming. And right now with school and homework and studying and college prep, it's a lot to do. So right here, these videos will be coming out every day to every other day. So we're back in routine. I appreciate you guys all so much for watching. And I'll see you guys later this week. Have a good one. Peace.